Tonight, a closer look at what an $8 million grant will do for the agriculture business and farmers in the Midlands. News 19's Peyton Lewis has a deeper dive into the money that's going to South Carolina State University. You notice at the end of that watermelon is a flower. Larry Harris has owned his own farm in Sumter for years now and says although it's hard work, it's rewarding. You're not going to get no more out of anything than what you put into it. Harris is currently growing watermelon and cantaloupe for the summer season, but he says he knows he can't keep farming forever. I need young farmers because all the old ones are getting old and passing on. And the next generation of farmers could spring up in Orangeburg, thanks to a grant from the USDA to SC State. The next gen grant is for $8.7 million and will help their agriculture and family consumer science programs offer middle and high school students pathways into the agriculture industry through SC State. I sat down with Dr. LaToya Johnson, an SC State assistant professor of family and consumer sciences and the project's co-principal investigator. Dr. Johnson explained more about what the program will be used for. This grant or project is going to take a five-pronged approach. SC State's agriculture agriculture major just reopened to students two years ago. And Dr. Johnson says this grant is helping them regrow this area of study in their community. Trying to, you know, advance that social mobility to get them exposed to the careers that they may either have not heard of or just were not aware of. And so that, that's what this grant is going to do for our students. And just like Larry Harris, whose hands will one day stop working the way they do now. He is putting his hope in seeds planted to grow in the future. Reporting in Sumter, Peyton Lewis, News 19, WLTX. South Carolina State says this will be the third grant they received toward helping restart their agriculture program.